Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark, Nuts for Art, and this is a quick Earth Day video to tell everybody, uh, please go out and protest in the streets. Uh, and I don't care how long you do it tomorrow or how many people show up with you, but videotape it and put it on YouTube. And really, let's make a voice. We get a lot of people telling us that we're not mainstream. Well, actually, we are mainstream and uh, I want to share with you, when I was a teenager, the real Earth Day was a protest. I was at that protest. It was I was in high school. You know what happened in our school, in every school, and everywhere on Earth Day that day? Almost everybody stopped what they're doing. We had sit-ins. We had a, I remember we all had, we went to class and then I forget what time it was, like, bink. Everybody just looked at the clock and left the room. One, two, three, boom, we all left. And then guess what? The teachers left. And then everybody left. And then we went down to the Vons. And they were, I don't remember, there were some people talking, but it was really about like, they had to stop. They had to stop harming our planet. And that's, people were serious about it. And people got actively engaged in doing it. And then, and then they invented computers to keep us from talking to each other and organizing and being close. Look at my strawberries. They're coming back. I haven't done anything to them. I have completely ignored my garden this winter. Check this out. I'm going to have berries. Radiated berries. Thank you. You know, when I was a kid, I had dreams that we'd be able to digest plastic. I had visions of, like, things. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Those ones don't get very much. You know why? Because of this guy. And see that? That's why there's a plant there that covers up the sun. So, no bueno. I should probably have those replanted somewhere else. Here's my lavender tree, which I bought from a baby from the grocery store. And then... It was quite bigger, and then I thought I trimmed it, and I actually killed half of it, but half of it lived. Oh. Oh, check this out. I'm going to show you my whole garden. Just because it's Earth Day, it's Earth Day. Here's my little plants in Oregon coming back. Do they have any mutations? Are you sick, me dears? So I think they're all right. Oof. Yeah, sorry, my garden's so wreck. See, I had planned on building a greenhouse, and this is exactly like in my garden. All overgrown with that broccoli. I'm like seeding my garden naturally, I guess. I'm just going to like let it go because it's beautiful. See, that's my kale plants. <laughs> See, I had picked up all those, and then I just, like, it got too cold. I'm like, I'm not going out there. So, and then I decided just to let them go because they're so beautiful. So, look, check this out. Oh, and this is cute. So, one night I cleared all the, I thought they were drowning from the heat, so I took the hay off of them, and the gardener didn't take them. Look at this. My daughter gave me this about... I don't know, 10 years ago, at least 11 years ago. It was in my other uh, house where Norma Jean was originally planted by my friend Karen, the peace activist. Oh my God, you guys should have known Karen. She was great. She, I wish I could have known her on Earth Day then. Oh, wow. Hey, what's that? That's one of my juggling balls from the grandkids. Beep. I let them play with my juggling clothes stuff. They're the only kids that let touch my stuff. Also, you guys will appreciate this. Here's a sign. I got the very last sign produced by someone at the Democratic Party a super long time ago. Oh, rats. Oh, it's a wee bit brittle, me dear. How's about that? <laughs> Hello. I really like that sign, actually. It's super. Karen was one of the original people who walked for peace. She's an awesome person. Actually, I met her when I was here in Eugene. 
In fact, I had only just met her when she started to get really sick, so we didn't get to know each other very much. And this was a beautiful gift. She worked hard. She dug a three-foot round hole 24 inches deep because the book said to get the plant started right, it had to have it. So I guess it worked because I moved it from here and I didn't have time to... We just stuck it in the hole and dug it deep enough, I guess. I don't know. Somebody planted it for me. My gardener. It wasn't my gardener at the time. It was just my friend. And here she is. Happy Earth Day, Norma Jean. I wonder what you look like. Your leaves. I am learning about leaves in my terrestrial science class. Happy Earth Day. And I'm learning about the ocean in my oceanography class. And you know what? It, both of those classes are making me super sad about what we're doing. The fucking uranium mining. The coal mining. The fracking. Wow. I wonder what that is. Huh. I wonder if that's normal. I wonder if any of you plant people know if that's normal. Because I'm just learning. But that looks odd. Yeah, but look. That has rounded edges. And that one doesn't. It does. See how that goes up like that? Uh-huh. I would say. Well, I wonder what Radchick would say about that. Let us document it, my dear. Okay, so. Wow. That kind of shocked me, actually. Huh. Okay, what do we think of that? Oh, look. Uh, a little flower. We're going to have flowers. <laughs> So I hope all of you who hears this message goes out and protests somewhere in your community tomorrow. Go out and hold a sign. Hold a sign that says, Love the Earth. Stop. Stop nuclear. Just stop. Or maybe love your kids and... I don't know. We got to think of something. We got to think of a catchy, positive phrase because that's how bullshit people are. Yeah, they're like linked into all of this stuff. I started these with just a few twigs. Isn't that incredible? Actually, I think those are blackberries. And I think those are raspberries. See the difference? Oh, yes. See, I'm actually beginning to see the difference in the greens. And if I don't get in there and fix this, we're not going to have any more raspberries. Because <laughs> these guys will take over. But these are raspberries. These are pretty strong plants. These are the raspberries. Let me just leave them. I don't know. Anyways, you guys, I'm going to end here. And I will uh, send out some reports tomorrow on whatever it is I get. I can't do it for very long. But I'm going. Ciao. Put your courage feet on. Go peaceful. <laughs> Ciao.